Smith, according to the CDC, the highly contagious BA.5 subvariant now accounts for about 78% of all COVID infections in the U.S. Here to talk about all this, Dr. Peter Chen Hong, an infectious disease specialist at UCSF. So thanks for joining us. So let's start with this new variant. People are asking if they had COVID in the last three months, will they have immunity against this variant? And do you believe there will be a specific vaccine for this? Well, Ryan, the, it's a little bit complicated with BA5. It's known as the escape artist of co Omicron flavors, which means that there's no guarantee uh, that you won't be reinfected uh, soon after getting infection, say in the last few weeks, because that was likely BA2. Now it's BA5 and, uh, you know, all bets off. If BA5 stays dominant, that three-month rule will apply again. And here's a question a lot of parents want to know. What about the severity of BA.5 in children? We think that BA5 will act the same as the other Omicron uh, variants, which means that children are not immune from going to the hospital. In fact, we saw more hospitalizations in unvaccinated kids during Omicron. They didn't die at high rates, luckily, but uh, because the airways are very small and they get a lot of inflammation mucus there, for some very small kids, uh, it could be difficult to breathe and they have wheezing. So it really is a, a call and a rally to parents to vaccinate all of their kids. And, and Elizabeth just did a story about President Biden testing positive for COVID. He's 79 years old, has a very stressful job. So should American people be concerned? And what can you tell us about that antiviral drug that he's being treated with? So I think in the old days, say if President Biden was infected uh, the same time President Trump was, I'd be very worried. Because every decade over the age of 50, you get additional risk of dying. But because of vaccines, boosting, and now Paxlovid, he has a very, very low chance of even going to the hospital. Paxlovid is an antiviral drug. It shuts down the virus factory so that uh, it really is a good adjunct to vaccines. <clears throat> and uh, in studies, even in unvaccinated folks, it can reduce the risk of hospitalizations by as much as 90% if taken within the first five days. So it's three pills twice a day. Uh, you need to check drug interactions, but very, very effective. All right, Dr. Peter Ching Hong, thank you for taking the time with speaking with us. Always good information. Thank you very much.